welcome back everybody. This is part three here of Final Assembly. And behind me here, I've got the crane all hooked up to the roll cage. It's on the main frame. And that's the first stage, is get this roll cage assembly off, which unlocks so I can get that ramp assembly in. It's too wide to go in with the roll cage in place. Got the battery tray with air compressors and air tank all queued up to go in as well. Once we get that in, then the engine cradle, which is gonna go in right here. We get that in and then that unlocks so we can get the engine in. So we'll see where we get here, this, uh, this spell in the shop. All right, and there we have it. Roll cage is off. Main frame is now nice and exposed, and now we can get back to work here. All right, so here's the aluminum uh, inside panels that cover off the frame. Those have been scuffed and polished with uh, Scotch-Brite pads, uh, polishing up nice, and then clear-coated, and now bolted on. There we got the crane all hooked up the ramp assembly here and I've got it canted up a little bit so that it's ready to come in here and go on to those four studs those go on to that black piece right there so next up here we're going to try to get that into position here get close here Got the crane all in. The ramp is now in. I've got it bolted down here. Back where the hinge is, right there. I've repositioned the end of these straps. And now I've got a jack ready to just to lower it down onto the jack. And that'll position us for later putting in the actuators that go right here and to the frame right there that actually raise and lower the ramp. So we're going to lower the crane down, get these straps off of here, get the protective foam out of there, and then we can move on. So with the ramp assembly in and the battery tray in, I've been able to button up and clean up a few detail things. Uh, I've been doing some cable management, making these cables route up and hug along that four bar linkage. And also I had to trim um, a little bit here. I'll remove this piece so you can see that that trim that out uh, and that uh, when the battery tray comes up it interacts with the ramp assembly underneath there i'll try to show that so right there it goes around that and i'll show that later with it with the battery tray up and underneath with the battery tray up I also rerouted uh, some air lines for the ramp assembly here. They're coming up there and underneath right here, you really can't see it at all, but there's uh, two 90 degree connectors hidden underneath there. So got that cleaned up nice. And uh, now I continue on uh, with some larger items. Wires with the battery tray up. Okay, so after uh, Quite a number of hours of getting wiring in here. Uh, you see some big wires there. And there's a lot of wires here coming off the secondary battery, uh, powering up things like the winch, the second uh, alternator for charging it, an output cable, and connecting uh, up to what will be a battery isolator up top, and then primary wiring up to uh, turn blocks got all of that stuff uh, hooked in and cable managed uh, that kind of cable tie assembly something I saw on Pinterest helps capture those cables correctly and allows this battery tray to drop down and go back up without pinching cables so we've got all of that stuff in and now I'm gonna get ready and put this engine cradle in uh, once I get that in uh, that'll get us ready then to put the engine in so let's uh, get this over by the crane and get ready to hoist it in. Engine cradle getting ready to go in here. Got the crane hooked up. 
Got it rigged and we're real close to bring it into position there. Getting closer, almost there and in. I just gotta lower it in the last few inches. Uh, we're pretty well lined up. And I got lots of foam there and some guide posts to guide it in. So just gotta lower it down the rest of the way. And now we've got it down into position. And getting up close here, you can see why I wanna get all of that battery tray and cables uh, taken care of. Uh, this cradle takes up a lot of room. Uh, limits a lot of access to uh, things. There's the parking brake actuator. It's hard to get to now. Um, so I just got to check final position and then we can uh, lock this thing down. Uh, check uh, everything else and then it'll be time for the engine coming up next. All right, and now the moment you've all been waiting for, well, at least I've been waiting for, is uh, put the engine in. We've got it all hooked up here to the crane. Uh, engine cradle's all in as we showed before. And we're going to lift this thing right in there and pop it in there. So here we go. Okay, engine is uh, into the cradle now. And the crane boom here, I'm just about ready to release that now. Straps are loose. It is sitting down on the mounts. And uh, right now on the back, just got a wood board here to hold up the back end. That's until I can get the, the rear portion of the cradle in. And this is about where we're going to have to call it quits for this time around here in the shop. So uh, next time we'll get after uh, finishing getting the motor actually in and locked down. And then we can move on to some of the things that support that stuff around there. Like the pumps, uh, hydraulic motors, hoses, and all sorts of fun stuff. And eventually uh, getting that roll cage back on top. So anyway, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, stay safe here during COVID-19. Maintain social distancing. I'm doing my best here in the shop. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.